Atrial septal defect, ASD, is a congenital heart defect that allows blood to flow back and forth between the left and right atria of the heart through a hole or defect in the interatrial septum. The interatrial septum is a thin piece of tissue that should normally completely separate the right and left atria. If a person is born with a hole or defect in the septum, oxygenated red blood from the left side of the heart is allowed to mix with deoxygenated blue blood from the right side of the heart. Frequently, although it's been there since birth, people won't necessarily know that they have an atrial septal defect or it may not be picked up until later in life. And oftentimes it can be as someone develops into their 30s and 40s and even 50s until they present with symptoms uh, because it's not previously been known that they had it. And oftentimes it's picked up in the office by a, phys by a physical exam. A primary care physician may first uncover an atrial septal defect during a regular checkup while listening to the patient's heart using a stethoscope. Classically, a patient will have a fixed split-second heart sound with an atrial septal defect. Often, a systolic flow murmur is heard over the pulmonic valve area on exam. Atrial arrhythmias should be further evaluated for a potential intracardiac shunt. Atrial septal defects are confirmed with an ultrasound exam of the heart and echocardiogram. Well, typically, as people get older, they may present with symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue. They can have evidence of right-sided heart failure, meaning that they would get lower extremity edema and swelling. Uh, and they oftentimes can present with arrhythmias where they have palpitations or they actually have episodes where their heart goes into a persistent atypical rhythm. Well, one of the dangers of having a hole in the intraatrial septum is you do allow communication of the right side of the heart to communicate with the left side of the heart. And one of the theoretical things that can happen is a clot can come up from the right side of the heart, pass through the hole, and then it has the ability to go anywhere in the body. And if the clot makes its way up to the head, it obviously can lodge in one of the vessels and cause a stroke. And so that's one of the more devastating complications that we do see uh, from atrial septal defects. Correction involves plugging or patching the abnormal opening between the atria. This is done in the cath lab and utilizes cardiac catheterization. Our patient Deborah is a fascinating patient. She has a sister that actually had a hole in her heart uh, that was repaired down in Alabama surgically uh, with a traditional open procedure. Uh, the surgeons down in Alabama had told Deborah she ought to have herself checked to see if she had a hole in her heart as well because there is a small incidence of running in families and she came to us. We evaluated her with an ultrasound and she did in fact have a sizable hole in the septum of her heart. Even though she didn't notice symptoms per se at the time, she was having some evidence that the right side of the heart was getting strained. Her sister had a little bit of a prolonged course and had some difficult times, was back in the hospital and, and ended up taking several weeks to uh, recuperate from the entire procedure. Uh, and Deborah opted to go with the, the less invasive approach of placing a patch in the hole uh, through the leg. During a cardiac catheterization, a thin tube, catheter, is inserted into a blood vessel in the groin and guided to the heart. Through the catheter, a mesh patch or plug is put into place to close the hole. The heart tissue grows around the mesh, permanently sealing the hole. Deborah did wonderfully uh, during the case. We were able to repair the defect uh, with just a single device and uh, we placed it through the leg. Uh, the procedure took about 40 minutes to do the entire case. Uh, she was awake for the entire case. We were able to send her home the next morning. It makes me feel lucky. It makes me feel um, advantaged. I think that to have a procedure like this in a day, in and out, not have to leave, have my family with me, be able to go home the same day, next day, I just feel lucky.